This one comes from Sarah. Why does God make us with certain desires if he calls those desires sin? Well, you know what's interesting? I mean, the way I would put it is the desires that God gives us are not sin. The desires can be used in an inappropriate way. So let's take sex. Sexual desire is a good thing. It uh, it it promotes procreation. It promotes closeness and identification in identification in relationships. And it's a bonding factor. It is enjoyable. There are all kinds of good things from it. However, it's so powerful that if it's, if it's used in a wrong context, it creates harm. Okay? So it isn't the sexual desire that is wrong. It is the abuse of the sexual desire. Okay? And this, I use that as a prominent example, but this is true in just about everything. That taken to an extreme, these things that are naturally part of being a human being um, uh, become problems. And uh, they are taken to an extreme because we're fallen. All right. So I, I don't know what Sarah's Sarah had in mind there. My suspicion is that why would God give us a desire for sex or for what some people consider or the Bible might teach is illicit if if it's wrong? I mean, why would God give us a desire that's wrong? Well, this presumes that God gave you the wrong desire. A lot of people say this kind of thing. Um, homosexuals will say, well, God made me this way, this way and God doesn't make junk. What, why would you assume that God made you th the way you are now? That, by the way, could be used to justify anything. Any kind of vice, well, God made me this way and God doesn't make mistakes. Okay. Well, the problem there is that God doesn't make you that way. God gives us sexual desires for example, to be used in a particular way, that's good. But if it's used in a wrong way, then it's bad. God gave the desires. He didn't give us the desire to use it in a wrong way. That comes from man's fallenness. I'm thinking here, too, of Romans 1 and the idea of God giving us over to our fallenness. Mm -hmm. um, so if even in that sense, God's not giving us the desires. He's removing his restraint from right. our fallenness. Man exchanged the good thing for the bad thing, and then God let them go. Mm -hmm. So the idea that we are fallen is is central to understanding central. this whole thing. Right. You know, I, I was also thinking about Jesus and his uh, temptations in the wilderness because he he was the devil was tempting him to good things you know jesus was supposed to be the ruler of the world mm -hmm. jesus as human beings we eat you know that's a good thing but he was tempting him to use it in a different way and that well, was a good observation sin. right 